Greetings children. Let's start discussing questions from Chapter 3 Metals and Non-Metals. This is the fourth video in this series. Ionic bond. Electrostatic force that holds two atoms together due to a difference in charge. Electrons are transferred usually from a metal to a non-metal like bromine and potassium. Potassium transfers one of its electrons to bromine and hence bromine completes its octet. Potassium has a positive charge and is electropositive whereas bromine is electronegative. Potassium bromide KBr is a salt which is widely used as an anti-convalescent and a sedative in the late 18th and early 20th century. CBr4, also known as carbon tetrabromide, is a carbon bromide. Both carbon and bromine are nonmetals. When we have two or more nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent, also called a molecular compound. So CBr4 is a covalent compound. What that means carbon is bonded to four bromine atoms and these pairs of electrons between the carbon and the bromine atoms dot are shared between the carbon and bromine. They are shared pairs of electrons. In chemistry, the main difference between an atom and an ion is that an atom is a neutral particle, while an ion has a positive or negative electrical charge. Atoms and atom is basic building block of matter made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The identity of an element is determined by the number of positively charged protons in the atom's nucleus. Usually, when chemists talk about atoms, they mean neutral particles that contain the same number of protons and electrons. However, a broader definition of an atom includes all possible variations in the number of neutrons, isotopes, and electrons, ions. Under this broader definition, an atom can be an ion, but not all ions are atoms. The difference between an atom and an ion has to do with net electrical charge. Examples of atoms include hydrogen, H, helium, He, iron, Fe, and any other element on the periodic table. Ions and ion is an atom or collection of atoms with a net positive or negative charge. When electrons are added or removed, the neutral atom becomes an ion. If electrons are removed, the net charge of the ion is positive and it is known as a cation. When electrons are added, the net charge of the ion is negative and it is known as an anion. Ions can also be collections of atoms. Polyatomic ions form when atoms combine, but the chemical bonds between the atoms don't balance the electrical charge. The atomic number of sodium is 11. What is the number of electrons in Na+. Sodium atoms and sodium ions have same number of protons. Each one has 11 protons. The atomic number of sodium is 11. Sodium atom has 11 electrons. Sodium ion has 10 electrons as sodium atom loses one electron to form sodium ion. Only sodium atom react vigorously with water whereas sodium ion does not. An ion is an atom or a molecule carrying some specific charge due to loss or gain of electrons. But on the other hand an atom is a neutral species therefore have no charge on them. Chlorine gains an electron, leaving it with 17 protons and 18 electrons. Since it has one more electron than protons, chlorine has a charge of minus one, making it a negative ion. Very interesting. Also chlorine is very dangerous to humans, so chlorine ion is used in pools, because it is less toxic, and in World War I chlorine was a leading biological weapon. The distribution of electrons in the energy shells is known as electronic configuration. It is based on Bohr-Berry scheme according to which the maximum number of electrons that can be present in a particular energy shell of an atom is given by 2n square, where n is the number of energy shell. The energy shells K, L, M and N are the first four energy shells given by Bohr. So, the maximum number of electrons which can be accommodated in each energy shell is as follows. In the first energy shell K, which means M is equal to 1, the energy shell number is equal to 1, 
the maximum number of electrons is equal to 2 n square which is equal to 2 into 1 square which is equal to 2. This also means that the maximum number of electrons that shell K can hold is 2. In second energy shell or L shell which is which means M is equal to 2 the maximum number of electrons is equal to 2 n raised to 2 which is equal to 2 into 2 square which also means 2 into 4 which is equal to 8 which also means that the maximum number of electrons that L shell can hold is 8. The third shell or M shell which means M is equal to 3 the maximum number of electrons is equal to n 2n square is equal to 2 into 3 square is equal to 2 into 9 is equal to 18. This means that m shell can hold a maximum of 18 electrons. In the fourth shell or n shell which means energy th fourth energy shell the maximum number of electrons is 2 n square which is equal to 2 into 4 square which is equal to 2 into 16 which equals to 32. The order of energy of these energy shells starts from nucleus where which begins with K which is less than L which is less than M and which is less than N. The outermost shell in an atom cannot have more than 8 electrons even if it has a capacity to take up more than 8 electrons. This is known as the octet rule. The atomic number of an element X is 8 and that of element Y is 12. Write down the symbols of the ions you would expect to be formed from their atoms. Oxygen has a total of 8 electrons. This means energy shell K takes 2 electrons, and the other 6 electrons are accommodated in shell L. The oxygen molecule is defined as a negative oxygen ion. It is electronegative, since it accepts 2 electrons as it requires 2 electrons to complete its octet. The electronic configuration of a magnesium atom atomic no. 12 is K equals 2, L equals 8, M equals 2. An ion is defined as an atom or molecule having a positive or negative charge by the loss or gain of electrons. Electronic configuration of Mg is 2, 8, 2. It loses two electrons to attain octet and become stable. Hence, gets a net positive charge of 2. Magnesium atom with no loss of electron has no charge. Positively charged ions are called cations. Mg plus 2. An ion can only be formed when a neutral atom gains or loses electrons. Since electrons carry a negative charge, gaining electrons will result in the formation of a negatively charged ion, or anion. Similarly, losing electrons will result in the formation of a positively charged ion, or cation. In your case, the sulfide anion, S2-, carries a 2- negative charge which can only mean that it gained electrons. More specifically, it gained two electrons. A neutral sulfur atom has an atomic number equal to 16, which means that it has 16 protons inside its nucleus and 16 electrons surrounding its nucleus. For each electron gained, the ion's overall charge decreases by one unit, which further confirms the fact that the neutral sulfur atom gained two electrons to get the two minus charge. What type of chemical bonds are present in a solid? Compound which has a high melting point, does not conduct electricity in the solid state but becomes a good conductor in the molten state? Solution, a chemical bond is formed between two atoms by the complete transfer of one or more electrons from one atom to the other as a result of which the atoms attain their nearest inert gas configuration ionic bonds are formed between a metal and non-metal for example sodium chloride 
an atom of sodium will lose an electron and form a positive ion. An atom of chlorine will gain an electron and form a negative ion. The ionic bond is the electrostatic force of attraction between a positively charged metal ion and a negatively charged non-metal ion. Metals form positive ions because they lose electrons to become stable. State whether the following statement is true or false. State whether the following statement is true or false. The aqueous solution of an ionic compound conducts electricity because there are plenty of free electrons in the solution. Solution. The statement is false. The aqueous solution of an Ionic compound conducts electricity because there are plenty of free ions in the solution. What type of bonds are present in hydrogen chloride and oxygen? Solution. Covalent bond is present in hydrogen chloride and oxygen. Here sharing of electrons takes place. NaCl is the chemical formula for sodium chloride which is also commonly known as a table or common salt. It is an ionic compound. Sodium is a soft metal and chlorine is a gaseous non-metal but sodium chloride is a brittle solid. Therefore they form an ionic compound. Number of electrons in valence shell of Na equals 1. Number of electrons in valence shell of Cl equals 7. So, sodium donates its valence electron to chlorine and, both completing its octet in the process, forming an ionic bond. Chlorine gas exists as a diatomic molecule with the chemical formula Cl2 that belongs to the halogen group. It has a corrosive nature and is primarily used in the production of paper and clothing. Chlorine atoms are covalently bonded to form a diatomic Cl2 molecule. Cl2 Lewis structure consists of two chlorine atoms linked by a single bond with three lone pairs on each chlorine. What type of bonds are present in water molecule? Draw the electron dot structure of water, H2O. Solution. Covalent bonds are present in the water molecule. What type of bonds are present in methane, CH4, and solution chloride, NaCl? Solution. Methane has covalent bonds and sodium chloride has ionic bonds. Ionic bond. The ionic bond is the electrostatic force of attraction between two oppositely charged ions. Ionic bonds join metals to non-metals. Examples of ionic bonds are sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, magnesium oxide, etc. Covalent bond. A covalent bond is formed from the mutual sharing of one or more pairs of electrons between two atoms, non-metals. For example, O2 N 2 C L 2 What type of bones are present in the following molecules? Draw their electron dot. Structures. I, H2 These atoms are joined together by covalent bonds because they have not given or lost electrons but shared them, they have no charge. Covalent bonds are present in the given by methane molecules. Argon, the R, chemical element, inert gas of group 18, noble gases. Argon is the inert gas that resembles the electronic configuration of Cl atoms in a Cl2 molecule. This electronic configuration is K equals 2, L equals 8, M equals 8. The octet rule refers to the tendency of atoms to prefer to have 8 electrons in the valence shell. When atoms have fewer than 8 electrons, they tend to react and form more stable compounds. 
which of the following compounds are ionic and which are covalent? Urea, cane sugar, hydrogen chloride, sodium chloride, ammonium chloride, carbon, tetrachloride, ammonia, alcohol, magnesium chloride. Solution. Ionic compounds, sodium chloride, ammonium chloride and magnesium chloride. Covalent compounds, urea, cane sugar, hydrogen chloride, carbon tetrachloride, ammonia. Alcohol, give one example each of the following. I am molecule containing a single covalent bond. Solution, hydrogen is the molecule containing single covalent bond. Give one example each of the following, two a molecule containing a double covalent bond. Solution, oxygen is the molecule containing double covalent bond. Nitrogen is the molecule containing triple covalent bond. Ionic bonds usually occur between metal and non-metal ions. For example, sodium, Na, a metal, and chloride, Cl, a non-metal, form an ionic bond to make NaCl. Fill in the blanks in the following sentences. I two atoms of the same element combined to form a molecule. The bond between them is known as covalent bond. 2. Two chlorine atoms combine to form a molecule. The bond between them is known as covalent. 3. In forming oxygen molecule, two electrons are shared by each atom of oxygen. 4. In forming N2 molecule, three electrons are shared by each atom of nitrogen. V, the number of single covalent bonds in C2H2 molecule are 2. V, melting points and boiling points of ionic compounds are generally higher than those of covalent compounds. Explain the formation of a chlorine molecule on the basis of electron theory of valency. Solution, chlorine is an electronegative atom. The atomic number is 17 and has a configuration of 2,8,8,7. Addition of one electron in the outermost shell will make octet. It acquire by sharing with another. Chlorine atom and form chlorine molecule. There will be a strong bond formation in between the two. Chlorine atoms and the bond is called covalent bond. Therefore the electronic configuration will become 2,8,8. Thus it becomes stable. What type of chemical bond is present in chlorine molecule? Explain your answer solution. In chlorine molecule, covalent bond is present because whenever two atoms of same element combine to form a molecule, a covalent bond is formed. Giving one example each, state what are I, ionic compounds. Solution I, the compounds which are formed by transferring from one atom to another containing ionic bond is called ionic compounds. Example Sodium chloride, sodium chloride. Giving one example each, state what are E. Covalent compounds. Solution. The compounds which are formed by sharing of electrons from one atom to another containing covalent bonds are called covalent compounds. Example. Methane, CH4. Compare the properties of ionic compounds and covalent compounds. Solution. Ionic compounds are crystalline solids whereas covalent compounds are usually liquid or gases. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points whereas covalent compounds have low melting and boiling points. Ionic compounds are soluble in water whereas covalent compounds are insoluble in water. Explain why a covalent compounds have generally low melting points, 
Covalent compounds generally have low melting point because they are made up of electrically neutral molecules hence the force of attraction between the molecules will be very weak. Therefore less amount of energy is required to break these molecular forces. The ionic compounds have generally high melting points. Solution B. Ionic compounds have strong electrostatic forces of attraction between ions. Thus it requires more energy to break the force and that is why ionic compounds have high melting point. Give two general properties of ionic compounds and two those of covalent compounds. Solution I. Ionic compounds are soluble in water. They are having high melting and boiling points. 2. Covalent compounds are insoluble in water. They are having low melting and boiling point. State 1 test by which sodium chloride can be distinguished from sugar. Solution. Sodium chloride and sugar can be distinguished by electrical conductivity test. Sugar does not conduct electricity when dissolved in water as it is a covalent compound but sodium chloride conducts electricity when dissolved in water as it is an ionic compound. Explain why ionic compounds conduct electricity in solution whereas covalent compounds do not conduct electricity. Solution A. Ionic compounds are made up of electrically charged ions thus conduct electricity whereas Covalent compounds are made up of electrically neutral molecules so they do not conduct electricity. B. Which of the following will conduct electricity and which not? MgCl2, CCl4, NaCl, CS2, Na2S. Solution. MgCl2, NaCl, Na2S conduct electricity. CCl4, CS2 do not conduct electricity. How will you find out which of the water soluble compound A or B is ionic? Solution Out of A and B, the ionic compound will be those which conduct electricity in aqueous solution. Explain why. A solution of cane sugar does not conduct electricity, but a solution of common salt is a good conductor of electricity. Solution Common salt is a good conductor of electricity as it is an ionic compound they are made up of charged ions whereas sugar cane is covalent compound they are made up electrically neutral molecule hence it does not conduct electricity. Here the formulae of the compounds that would be formed by the combination of the following pairs of elements. A M G and N2. Solution. A M G3 N2. B L I and O2. Solution. B L I2 O. C, A, L, and C, L, 2. Solution. C, A, L, C, L, 3. D, K, and H. Solution. D, K, H.